Three things you need to know about the new DJI Mini 3. With another DJI announcement, you may be asking what exactly is this and what differentiates it from other drones in their lineup. So let's get started. This is the new DJI Mini 3, a pocket-sized, lightweight, powerful drone that delivers 4K HDR video at 30 FPS and true vertical shooting. The DJI Mini 3 features a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor, dual native ISO, and chip level HDR. The camera also has an aperture of f1.7 for great low light image quality. And true vertical shooting is available so you can maximize the drone's full image quality for vertical content creation. The DJI Mini 3 offers up to 38 minutes of flight time using the standard battery and an impressive 52 minutes with the upgraded intelligent flight battery. Similar to other drones in the Mini lineup, the DJI Mini 3 delivers on its name, weighing in at under 249 grams, and with its foldable design, it's easy to throw in a pocket and take it on the go. And while the DJI Mini 3 may be small, it's certainly durable. The DJI Mini 3 has a wind rating of level 5, able to sustain winds up to 10.7 meters per second, making this a small but very capable drone. Mini 3 is equipped with DJI's O2 video transmission for a max range of 10 kilometers with anti-interference capabilities. Now you may be asking, where does the DJI Mini 3 fit in the DJI drone lineup and who exactly is this for? Well, the Mini 3 fits somewhere in between the DJI Mini 2 and the DJI Mini 3 Pro. It's a well-suited drone for creators who need that small form factor and the ability to quickly get high quality aerial content out in the field. The differences between the DJI Mini 2, Mini 3, and the Mini 3 Pro are in the details, so let's go ahead and take a look. The Mini 2 and 3 both shoot 4K up to 30 FPS, while the Mini 3 Pro can achieve 4K at 60 FPS. Both the Mini 3 and Mini 3 Pro can rotate the camera for true vertical shooting. The Mini 3 has a slightly improved battery life over the Mini 3 Pro. The Mini 2 and Mini 3 both use DJI OcuSync 2.0, which is rated up to 10 kilometers, while the DJI Mini 3 Pro uses DJI's OcuSync 3.0, rated up to 12 kilometers. A few intelligent flight features from the Mini 3 Pro don't translate to the Mini 3, such as focus track, master shots, and time lapse. However, panoramas and quick shots have still made their way into the Mini 3. Lastly, the Mini 3 and Mini 2 have downward obstacle sensing, while the Mini 3 Pro has tri-directional obstacle sensing. So who exactly is the DJI Mini 3 for? Well, if you have a Mini 2 or lower in the drone series, then this would be a good upgrade option. Or if you're looking for a less expensive alternative to the DJI Mini 3 Pro, then this may be perfect for you with a lot of the same features. Now that we know what the Mini 3 is, let's see how it performs out in the field and take a look at some of its features. Let's talk about the three photo options that you have when you're taking a photo. You can take a regular single photo, or you can go down to AEB, that stands for Auto Exposure Bracketing, and this will take three different exposures. You can either pick the best exposure, or you can merge them all together for those high dynamic scene images in a software like Lightroom. Beneath AEB, we have timed shot, and this will go up to 60 seconds, so that if you wanna set a self timer and get into your photograph, you have the ability to do that. Now let's talk about video, and in video, you can do 4K 30 FPS, or you can do up to 60 FPS at 2.7K. You also have the ability to do quick shots, which will automatically take videos of you or your subject. You can do rocket, droney, Helix, Circle, or Boomerang. This is great for content creators who need to get those quick clips out in the field. The best part about all of this is again that true vertical shooting so that you can turn the camera at any time, making it perfect for content creators who make a lot of content for vertical platforms and want to get the highest image quality possible. When it comes to panoramas, this is one of my favorite features about DJI drones, and the Mini 3 allows you to do sphere panoramas, 180 degree panoramas, and wide angle panoramas. DJI's panorama functions are amazing because it'll automatically do all of the work for you from tilting and panning your camera to actually capturing the image. It will even stitch your panoramas together for you, but if you would like to stitch those yourself, 
in post-production software, you have the option to do that as well. You can also shoot in JPEG or JPEG and RAW for that full versatility in post-processing. DJI's incredible image quality and exciting flight modes packed into the Mini 3 make this a tiny but powerful drone built for creators on the go. If you have any questions about DJI's new Mini 3, let us know in the comments below. My name is Matt and thanks for watching.